Okay, solve the quadratic. Round to two decimal places where necessary. All right. So first thing, you have to set these things equal to zero. Again, this uh, squared term, the x squared term is positive, so I'm going to keep that here. I'm going to bring the negative, the 42 over. It's going to become negative 42x. The positive 49 is already there. It stays positive. So I set the equation equal to zero, and now I can calculate it to two decimal places. OK, so usually when it says round to two decimal places where necessary, when you're solving the quadratic, this usually means the quadratic formula. So if you want, plug that through the quadratic formula. But this usually tells me something. There are perfect squares here. There's a 9 and a 49. Those usually don't happen by accident. So I'm going to see if this is a perfect square. So I'm going to check to see, OK, can I turn this into 3x, so the square root of that, minus the sine of that, the square root of this, 7. Now, if it is a perfect square, then this will be true. So it's the square root of that and the square root of that, the sine of that. Now, check it though. Does this actually expand out to give me negative 42? If I have 3 times 7, 3 times 7, oh yeah, that's 21. So 3 times 7 is negative 21, and then 7 times 3 would be another negative 21, gives me negative 42. Check. This is good. So in, instead of solving using the quadratic formula, I'm actually going to factor it because it's easier in this case. If you don't remember your perfect square trinomials, don't worry about it. Just plug it through the quadratic formula, and you should get the same answer. Now the answer here is going to be 7 over 3, constant over coefficient. This is your value of x. There's only one value because it's a perfect square. When it's a perfect square, the quadratic is sitting on the x-axis. The vertex is on the x-axis. Yeah? Mr. Stewart, contact the office, please, Mr. Stewart. If you did this by the quadratic formula, what you end up getting is I think you end up getting 42 plus or minus the root of 0 over mm, a 2a, which is going to be 18. So if you did it by the quadratic formula, you would have gotten this, gotten this at some point. This goes away, so you just end up with 42 over 18, which reduces to 7 over 3. So both of these ways will work. Next one. OK, this one is not a perfect square. It's not a simple trinomial. So at best, I'm going to be able to do decomp on this. And I find that decomposition takes as much work as doing the quadratic formula. So I'm just going to plug this through the quadratic formula. x is equal to, OK, I'm going to write it down for your sake, negative b plus or minus the root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. All right, my class, you've got this on a formula sheet. Anybody else who's watching this? I'm not sure if you get a formula sheet. Ask a teacher. So negative 8 is your b value. It goes into negative b and becomes positive 8. Watch that sign. Negative 8 is going to go into there and get squared. Now when you punch it in your calculator, make sure it goes to 64, not negative 64. Depends on how you, how you punch this in your calculator. Uh, negative 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is 5 all over 2 times a, which is 2. So x is equal to 8 plus or minus the root of Twenty-four over four. Okay, so x is equal to. Okay, so remember what this plus and minus means. It means you calculate it with the plus sign first, and then recalculate with the minus sign. So eight plus the root of twenty-four. Hit equals, then divide by four, and you get three point two two. Round it to two decimal places. Remember, or your other answer is eight minus the root of 24, hit equals, then divide it by 4, or 0 0.775, so 0 0.78. Those are your answers.